corn syrup, sugar, modified cornstarch. The last ingredient is yellow six. The first ingredient is corn syrup. The second is sugar. Yo, the first ingredient is corn syrup. <laughs> Welcome to Snack Talk, the show that answers every snack-related question you could ever imagine. Fruit snacks. Kids love them. Grown-ups love them. But what's up with that name, fruit snack? I mean, what's really inside them? Is there actually any fruit in there? Is my whole life a lie? Here to help us get to the bottom of fruit snacks today is our guest, actor, comedian, writer. You might know him from the hit TV series, Superior Donuts. Please welcome Jermaine Fowler. You, you said my name? I did say your name. Come oh, on okay, in. Okay, I'm coming. Welcome. Nice bodega, dude. Thank you, thank you. How many times has it been robbed? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Because we heard you love fruit snacks, I, uh, I made something for you. I was up all night. I like to call this the Germaine Elisa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm glad you didn't use the grapes for the skin. Absolutely, it's my daughter. Right? I'm sure yeah, she'd love it she's too. Gonna eat it though. I'll uh, put this with my bags. Please, please. Thank you, man. You've earned it. This could have came out terrible, but you really took the time out. I know? try. I try. Thank you, man. It's heavy too. It really is. Who would have known? So heavy. You know, fruit snacks, I, I believe, are uh, one of the the most dense of all snacks. You know, there's not I, a lot of air in them. I can see that. Right. Like, you have to fill that up. So, fruit. it's true, so much fruit, mm -hmm. in theory. Mm -hmm. What do you love about fruit snacks? Fruit snacks remind me of like my childhood. I and understand. It's you know, like the perfect, it's the perfect snack. You've seen a lot of the world, you've toured around, you have seen the many ways that people consume fruit. Some people eat fruit out of hand. Mm -hmm. Some people make it into a, a salad, like a fruit salad. Yeah. Some people make it into fruit snacks, but a lot of people, especially for those of us on the go, make it into a smoothie. Indeed. You've had a fruit smoothie, maybe, once? I'm, I've had a fruit smoothie, yes. We are going to craft, you guessed it, a fruit snack <laughs> smoothie. And here we have a, uh, a heavy-duty blender in order to get this done. So um, to assist in the blending process, I've added the finest, tasteless medium, New York tap water. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so I have a number of different fruit snacks here. Uh, I'd like to get your thoughts on each, and uh, as, as we mow through them, we will add them to the blender. That's a safety top. All right, so first up, a uh, classic Welch's mixed fruit. You're into it? Yeah, go to town, man, go to town. I'd eat breakfast. There you go. This is great. Ah, oh, you can smell them. Right? These there is great. something about opening a fresh pack. You can see here on the box, it says uh, made with real fruit, also 100% uh, of vitamin C. Yeah, right. Fat free. Gluten free, no preservatives. Gluten free? Yeah. I didn't know that. You smell them first? I smell them first before. Oh, damn. That medley. You can smell the gluten free. Mm. 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 First ingredient on this good guy fruit puree. It says here that grape, peach, orange, strawberry, and raspberry are in the fruit puree. Um, cool. Generally, these things are listed in the order of. Uh, Quantity. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Why, why do you need um, carnival wax? <laughs> carnival wax? Yeah. I would wager that, and this is just my guess, that carnival wax will keep them from sticking together. Oh, right? well, it makes you poop, though. Well, hey. Fruit does that too, man. It's kind of like fiber, fiber right? right? I don't know. Oh. God, can you believe, though, 100% vitamin C, 25% of A and E just in this little pouch alone? Yo, it's a healthy snack. It's, it's practically, practically a vitamin. vitamin. Right, it's true. I think it's probably healthier than a vitamin. Yeah, maybe. It gives you something to digest, some calories. Definitely cheaper than a vitamin. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the whole box is cheaper. <laughs> well, I'm really into these, um, and they seem like quality. Um, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna add them. I'm actually gonna add one more pack to the, uh, to the mix, just so that we have such a strong foundation. Because I feel like we both kind of gravitate. Oh, I should put them in. I'm eating the fuck out of them. So. <laughs> That's all right. I'm, I'll add another pack on your behalf. All right, thank you. I'm gonna just finish this bag off, and I'm good. What you got, what you got, what you got? Sharks and Dinosaurs, store brand. You got the shop rack fruit flavored <laughs> snacks. <laughs> they don't even call them fruit snacks, it's fruit flavored snacks. Yeah. So um, I actually did some advanced research and I found that um, even though sharks and dinosaurs, can you do it? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I told you we don't have insurance on this set. 
So I, I'll, I'll waft those welches under your nose, you'll come right back to life. Um, I found out that even though these are sharks and dinosaurs, there is nothing different between the ingredients in the two of these. And the first ingredient, yeah. Corn syrup. Right? The second ingredient? The first ingredient is corn syrup. The second is sugar. Yeah, but the first ingredient is corn syrup. And then the third they ingredient. have the integrity to put <laughs> a fruit in. <laughs> Fourth ingredient is apple juice concentrate. And the, the, but <laughs> modified cornstarch is higher. No! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No! Have some corn snacks, buddy. Corn syrup, sugar, modified cornstarch. The last ingredient is yellow six. Mm. It was a rumor in school that yellow five would make your b**** and b smaller. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just a stupid rumor. So we never ate these. Like, we stopped eating these for like a year. Wow. Yeah. I'll, I'll add one T-Rex. You, I really feel like you're getting what you're paying for. Oh, it's right there. Two to two twenty-nine. Two twenty-nine. And I got that it. was like three ninety-nine. Yeah, down here on the Welch's. Four fifty-nine. So almost double the price. Well, they got real fruit. So yeah, real ingredients. Yeah, and this just tastes like baby oil. You can taste the baby oil. You can there. a little bit. Am I am I no, joking? No. It leaves a it, there's a, it leaves a slick on your on your tongue. There's a perfumated like mm. aroma. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't I wouldn't I mean. No offense to anyone. <laughs> There's a, you know, oh, it yeah. tastes like I licked a toy. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. There's something very um, wrong. wrong, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, and I'm very excited about this one, mm -hmm. Fruit Gushers. Throwback. Right? Yeah. Look, this is a special version, mouth mixers. All right, let's get into these gushers. Like you. I'm gushing about them. All right, good. Oh, they mine melted and popped. Oh, this is shit. awesome. No, it's great, it's great. That's what you get when you, uh... Oh man, dude. Gush emoji. Yeah, I had a little squirtage as well. Look at the way, oh man, look at these gems. They're like gems. Remember that commercial when the kid ate a Gushers and his head exploded into a... Yeah, like you know, a watermelon, right? Yeah, watermelon. <laughs> yeah. And it's so weird growing up in the 90s, these foods were like so bad for you. I'm surprised we're not. We're still alive. How do you feel about the gushers? Do they stand the test of time? Nah, they don't. I, I tell you what, they stay. Uh, they're not perfect. They still stick to the middles of my. Oh. I, I had to peel them off the side of my teeth. Yeah, for sure. And that's not cool. Do you? There's. Uh, that's a fair amount of liquid inside. I feel like as a kid though, maybe my mouth was smaller, and it felt like more of a gush. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I think I think it was that, and also the surprise. Right? Now you know what's coming. You're you do, now. you do, you're you do. older now, you're bitter. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> For those of us with a little more confidence. Woo woo! Indeed. Fruit by the foot. The foot. Right? This is great. Yeah. When was the last time you had this? Fifth grade. Heck yeah. I love, I love grade, the packaging that it comes in this like, you know, roll. that's just ready, it's like dying to be unfurled. This must cost, how much do you think it costs them to make this? Like? Yeah, just the production value. Oh, I never did that, like a yo-yo. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was, this is like almost as cool as your headband. <laughs> you can rock it like that. Right? I love that it's multiple colors kind of all dripping together. There's a weird perforation in it. Oh, damn. Interesting, huh? This looks like an expensive thing, though. It really is, I think. There's a lot of production value in this. Yeah. This is like the James Cameron version of <laughs> it's not worth it. Free by the foot. Let's find out. This is called berry tie dye. No artificial flavors once again, and this one is gelatin free, which you know what that means. That means that, uh, in theory, this could be kosher. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add like one foot of fruit by the foot to this. Okay, uh, now is the time. It's time to uh, blend this up and make our fruit snack smoothie. Okay. I don't know if this has ever been done before. Are you... Not by an adult. Right? Not by an adult, no. All right, so I've secured the lid. Now we can begin my blender training tips. Crape? Right, we're gonna, um, we're gonna turn it on first. We start low and then we'll increase. Oh yeah, there we go, now it kicked in. Oh. I didn't know that it would make something this frothy. 
Well, it's got this beautiful gray color. It actually is a dope color. They're nice gray color, kind of, um, I might call this uh, granite or slate. Mm -hmm. Mud. 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 <laughs> yeah, fair. Mud. It smells good. Yeah, it kind of smells all right. Like all right. sugar. Like sugar, all right? So, I have two uh, snifters here. <laughs> 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 Only the finest. Um, Finest potato. It's true. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually try this because I feel it's my responsibility. It's my duty as a, a fruit snack, uh, fruit snacks or not. Mm -hmm. Right. I like that. Um, but I feel like. Will you Will you join me? I mean, yeah. Like. Oh God! Even as it pours, and it's like, there's something very reflective about it. Ooh, the sound of it is better. <laughs> I think it's a sound that looks like this intestinal gurgle too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it, it looks gorgeous though. There's something, yeah. It's kind of like got this acid wash. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Color to it. I kind of like it. I think we found a new color with some light going through it. Yeah, it's almost like a uh, dirty denim, mom jeans blue. Yeah. Right. Cheers, partner. Cheers, Brody. If it were colder, like, it would taste... It might be okay. Really, really good. But it does taste good. Yeah. It, the warmness makes me want to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Uh, no further manipulation required. Um, Jermaine Fowler and I conclude that the best way to enjoy fruit snacks is out of hand. I really, I kind of can't get enough of it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Hey, ju just... No! <laughs> no! Oh. Oh no, Justin, your face. Damn you, Gushers. Damn it, Gushers, every time. Well, uh, that is all the uh, time that we have here today on Snack Talk. Jermaine, thanks so much for uh, joining us. And, uh, Anytime. It's, uh, oh, dude, my hands are watermelon too. Yeah, I'm sorry. See you on Superior Donuts if uh, I have any eyesight left. See you next time on Snack Talk. Thanks for watching Snack Talk. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to win this beautiful tub of cheese balls, all you have to do is guess the correct amount and leave your guess in the comments below. If you win, I'll mail the tub to you personally. <laughs>